welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, I will be showing you how to download and install Paint.net in Windows 10. And I will also be showing you how to get started with the program. Paint.net is a fantastic program that allows you to do a lot of image editing, photo editing and things like that for free. To start off with, first you need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you now need to click on Paint.net underneath Get It Now and we now need to click on DownloadNow.pdn and you now need to click on Paint.net 4.2 10 and press save file. Once the file has finished downloading you will then have a zip folder. We now need to open up this folder and if you end up with a window that looks like this you just need to simply open it with file explorer and as you can see we have a setup file within the folder. You now need to just simply drag this to your desktop and you can now right click on that file and go run as administrator. You will now end up with a window that looks like this. You need to select express and we now need to go next. You now need to read the license agreement and once you agree, press I agree and press next again. Once paint.net has finished installing, we now need to keep start paint.net selected and press finish. And this is what paint.net looks like. Straight away, as you can see, I have a new document. But to start with, I'm going to actually show you how to create a new document. All we need to do is click on File in the top left hand corner and click on New. You now need to select the size of the document. I'm just going to leave it on 800 by 600 and press OK. And there we go, there's our new document. On the right hand side, we have our history. We have our layers in the bottom right and we also have our colours in the bottom left. We can now simply select the text tool which is on the left hand side here or press T on the keyboard and simply type in test. There we go, there's some nice text there. I can then also change the colour of this text in the bottom left hand corner as you can see. We can also select a rectangle and we can then select the colour and we can then just draw a rectangle. We can also fill in this rectangle by going to the top left and just simply selecting draw field shape. And it really is that simple. I really do like paint.net and if you haven't tried it yet, I recommend you give it a go. Also, I will be doing tutorials on how to use paint.net. So make sure you subscribe and if this video did help you, then hit the like button below. And as always, subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.